In this video, I'm going to talk about how to copy and delete layers and then uh, introduce adjustment layers. So here we are <clears throat> with our um, Photoshop file. So let's copy this fish layer and then we'll do some stuff to it. Uh, so come over to the layers palette, hover over the uh, fish layer, click hold and drag it into the new layer icon, into the square with the plus sign on it. And now we we have a copy to, you know, we have two layers, on, identical layers on top of each other. Um, now if I wanted to get rid of that fish copy, I could do this. I could click hold and drag it into the trash can and, you know, voila, it's gone. Um, let me copy the layer again. Another way, now this is like a cautionary thing. With the layer selected and no marching ants on the on the image, no marching ants anywhere with the layer selected, if I hit the delete key on the keyboard, it the whole layer gets deleted. So that be careful with that. Um, be care when you're when you hit the delete key, make sure you're deleting either a selected area because you could mistakenly delete um, an entire layer by hitting the delete key. So just be careful with that. Anyway, here's what I want you to do. <clears throat> Let's copy the um, fish layer. So we have fish and fish copy. What we're going to do is add an adjustment layer and uh, change the color of this. Now what the heck is an adjustment layer? <clears throat> Come over to the layers palette, make sure fish copy uh, layer is selected. And down here in the icons there's this half black and white circle with a little tiny drop down menu to it. If we click that once, there's a bunch of stuff here and as you work through Photoshop you will use a whole lot of these. Um, for this exercise, the easiest one to kind of like work with is hue saturation. So on your own you can play around with these other um, adjustment layers and just experiment with them or you can go you know Google them. Uh, Adobe Help is great, you know has all these defined. But for this um, exercise choose hue saturation. And this hue saturation adjustment layer will appear on the top of fish copy. <clears throat> now if we look at all these sliders here so we can change the hue <clears throat> which is the color, the saturation which is the intensity and the, the, the lightness you know we can make it uh, you know basically desaturated and whatever. But check this out okay I'm going to move this hue slider back and forth so I'll zoom out so I'm going to move the hue slider to the right and the fish becomes green, but check out the other stuff. Um, like all our layers, this is affecting all of our layers below the fish layer. Um, so I have the slider moved all the way to the right now. Well, suppose I just want, I only want to adjust the, the, cop, the color of the fish copy layer. I don't want, I don't want the color of all this other stuff to change. So what you do is come back over here to the layers palette. There's this icon here. There's this little 90 degree arrow pointing down with a slash through it. That means everything underneath this hue, hue saturation layer, all of this stuff is going to be affected by it. Now if I click on this icon and this, you know, it, the, the slash is gone, that means this hue saturation layer only affects fish copy so and you can see here there's a little um, 90 degree arrow here meaning that this hue saturation layer is pinned to fish copy I'm gonna back up and like uh, enable and disable that so this is with the um, the the hue adjustment layer pinned to it now if I click on that little icon there it is, it's affecting everything. So let me just click again. So now the hue, hue saturation layer is only affecting fish copy. 
for our um, this is not you know the greatest aesthetics in the world <clears throat> but for the purposes of this exercise have the um, hue slider moved all the way to the right and if you want to play around with the saturation you can you know you can, you can make this really annoying but you know keep the saturation kind of sort of in the middle by the way if you pull the saturation layer all to the way to the left uh, it basically makes a black and white image oh and another thing if you like are messing around with these sliders and you mess stuff up you can just hit this little weird looking thing that means just reset this is the little reset button so I can click that and everything goes back to the way it was before anyway grab the top slider of the hue pull it all the way to the right save your file make sure it's pinned you know to the fish copy layer um, save your file and I'll see you in the next video